Now assuming that you have an internet service provider who connected your computer up to the World Wide Web, all you need now is a program to be able to search the web with. And Windows 7 comes with Internet Explorer 8 and it's that pin program down here on the taskbar that when you hover over it, that letter E, it says Internet Explorer. Click on it to open it up and by default it takes me to my home page which I'll show you how to create in a later training video. But up at the top here we've got the name of the home page Google that I'm currently on and the name of the program that I have open and again it's Internet Explorer 8. And how do I know it's Internet Explorer 8? Well you can right click in a blank area here and you can click and bring up the menu bar. Come over here click on the help menu and go down to about Internet Explorer and it gives me the version right here. It's actually 8.0.76.0 in any case. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to right click and uncheck my menu bar. In any case, below the title bar you have the address. It's the address of the page that I'm visiting. Right now it's google.com. Just think of it like a street address. You want to be able to find a house. Well, it's the same if you want to be able to find a web page. You need to know its URL or Uniform Resource Locator. People may ask when they're new to searching the internet, how do people know all these websites? How do I find out about them? Well, you can do a search and just happenstance come across one and then remember its URL or website address or you can get recommendations from friends. In any case, I'll show you how to do a search later on, but for right now, I have a few websites I can throw out at you like Disneyland.com. Click up here. Notice how it selects the whole address. Once I hit the delete key, it gets rid of it, then I can go ahead and start from scratch. Now when you type in an address, you don't have to type in the first couple letters, HTTP colon forward slash, you don't need that. You can just type in either the address.com or add the three W's in front of it for World Wide Web. So like www.disneyland. And notice when I start typing down below, it's got the full URL or address because I have previously visited this website before, so if I don't want to finish typing it, I can just come down here and click on it. Or arrow down with the arrow key, and then it fills in the rest, and then all I have to do is hit enter on the keyboard, or come over here with my mouse and click on the go to arrow. So if I hit enter, it takes me right to the website and it's going to take forever to load because it has a lot of graphics and animation on it. In any case, I don't want to wait here forever, so I'll go ahead and come back up here and hit the back arrow to go back to where I originally started, which was my Google home page. And because I just recently visited the Disneyland.com web page, I can come up here. You notice how I just click back. I can go forward. When I hover over it, it says forward to Disneyland Resort. Click on it. It's not exactly Disneyland.com, if you go to a website and you type it in and the address isn't the same, they may have what's called a redirect where it redirects you to another web page. Oh, look at this. Every time I hover over it, it gives me balloons. That's pretty exciting. Very therapeutic. In any case, you want to watch my next training video so I can give you some tips on how to uh, search the internet and find your own favorite websites to visit. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.